Welcome to Adventures with Angela and Wayne. We were childhood sweethearts and become young parents, but our little chicks have found their wings and flown the nest, so we decided to fly too. So this is me, Angela. I have a big passion for travel, new experiences and setting myself personal challenges. But whilst I do the organising and planning, I always take my best buddy along and my hubby Wayne. So this is Wayne. Luckily enough, Wayne also shares my passion and love for adventure, fun and challenges too. We want to give you tips, advice and reviews on all our travels. So come along with us and we will show you what life is like after raising a family. So we hope you enjoy these adventures with us. Thank you for joining us on this trip where we take you to Gran Canaria. We show you the area we stayed in and the hotel. The hotel we stayed in was an all-inclusive, which we don't normally do, um, and it was called the Ball Eugene Victoria Spa Hotel in Playa de Ingles. So let's take you along. into the pool so it's quite a good design actually um, it's a lovely feel uh, I'm going to show you around the room 311 hello welcome to our apartment in Grand Canaria the Ball Eugene Victoria and Spa Ball Eugene Victoria and Spa so. Right, so this is the main bedroom, just as you walk in. Actually asked for an extra blanket. It's now February. Um, it's only because of the night it gets a little bit chilly, so you really don't need to worry about the fan in February. I don't know about the rest of the year. And there is central air con as well, so in the hot weather it yeah. is nice and cool. Yeah. And there is fans. Right. So, Two single beds pushed together around the front of the room. So we will lead you on down. So the next room is the bathroom. So this is the okay. bathroom, pretty standard, just a shower, not a bath, but it's clean and they give us clean towels all the time. Oh, so they come in here every day and tidy up. Nice and clean and tidy, tissues, Vanity mirror, clean towels, as Angela said. Nice clean toilet and a shower. <sighs> and we have the lounge area. So you still get a TV. I have said in our previous vlogs, and if you haven't watched them, go back and watch them. I always say we never actually put the telly on. We never use the telly while we're away. Lovely dressing table with drawers. So they do give you a hair dryer here, which is plugged in, which is really good and useful. So we've got drawers and a dressing table all the way along, and a mirror. And a nice little cabinet here. I think this is like a drinks cabinet, but being all inclusive, yeah, we don't need that. Um, oh, do you know what? We, I didn't even know this existed. We've actually got a fridge. Oh, there's a fridge in the room. First That's time good. we is that we have the fridge. So there we go, we've got a fridge. <laughs> well, cold water wine. Not Very good. So we've got a nice balcony, got a clothesline each side. side of the balcony. All the rooms actually look out into the pool area. A pool area is huge, as you can see on the camera. There's plenty of room, plenty of sunbeds, and it is absolutely spotless here. 
mount staff are always tidying up and cleaning. Uh, back into the room now. Uh, fan so again have... in the ceiling, even though we have air con. And a lounge area. I'm not sure if that's a bed settee, so I don't know if this room would be for four. We haven't investigated it, to be honest, so we don't know if that would be for four. Mm. Um, lamps and a coffee table. We do have an area here which we've put our shoes on. <laughs> now, we are only backpackers. This is overpacking. And it was more stressful for me to pack more than pack less. So we had 22 kilos with Jet 2 and we used it because we wanted to bring warm clothes and we wanted to change your clothes. So we used it. Um, and these are the shoes that we bought. <laughs> <laughs> And a dining table and chairs, which being all inclusive again, we don't tend to use, but we use it as our ironing table. That's our ironing table. Yeah. So lovely lounge room actually, lovely relaxing area, isn't it? Yeah, so um, quite a nice room. Plenty of room. Uh, we're not in here much, obviously, sleeping mainly, getting ready. Um, yeah, so can't grumble about the room at all. Uh, this particular trip that we've done from the UK for one week, all inclusive, mm -hmm. uh, was total cost of... 1,400. So that was the, obviously, the all inclusive, which is three lots of meal times uh, per day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. But you can also get port and bar snacks, um, all the alcohol, um, soft drinks, everything else included. We also obviously got the room that you've just seen and we've got the hotel transfers by coach um, and the flights. Yes, everything. Everything. So all 1,400. So in all fairness, you really don't have to bring a lot of spending money. And I think so far all we've done is a deposit for the towels and a deposit for the safe, which we will get back. So unless you're going to go outside of the hotel, you're not really spending a lot, much, lot more money on top of that. Um, we have gone for walks and things like that, but um, that's about it really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a nice area. They say that the hotel is really, really clean and tidy. Staff are excellent. Mm. It's on the video there, uh, the They're restaurant. All happy and friendly. Um, yeah, everyone yeah. loves working here by the looks of things. Mm. The all-inclusive is proper all-inclusive to go to the bar. The lemonade and Coca-Cola is apparently Sprite and Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, we've had shocking drinks previously, all inclusive. The drinks are good here. Um, and the spirits are the proper mates, what we've had. Yeah. And most of them have been proper mates. Yeah, they're not skimping on the drinks no. and stuff. So, highly recommend this one. And the facilities here fine. with a gym, a spa area, which we will video and put all on this. But the spa area is unreal, it's just really beautiful. Um, and we've got a gym and there's table tennis tables, there's games room with pool tables, which we will obviously insert as well. Crazy golf. Great mini golf, yeah. We've got mini golf here and uh, yeah, there's just lots going on, isn't there, as well. It's a good so place, it's really thumbs good up. Place. Yeah, thumbs up for this one. We don't normally do all inclusive, but to us this is our rest before we start the rest of our destinations this year, work and destinations. So this is our resting one. <laughs> More coming up. More coming up. What have we here? Well, so oh. I'm wondering why, so I'm just discovering why I've got showers in there. Wow. So look at this small area, so you've got all your little wild cake Ah, oh, even a little fuse ball table for little yeah, diddy ones. ones look. Which is quite nice. How cool is that? So if you was a teenager, although we do like table tennis and pole, if you was a teenager, this would be great hangouts. So you've got all the air hockey tables here. And You've got four tables, which are areas, table tennis, and going on down here, we've got a foosball table. This looks pretty cool. Oh. It's one of them paddle ones where you've got to stop the ball going down each side. Excellent. So that's really cool. 
but come and see this. Oh, this wow. Is the other end of the main swimming pool, the underground swimming pool, which has got all your spas and hot tubs and stuff. And this is the other end of it. Wow, look at that. So I'm sure we'll be trying that out later. That's cool. The Ball Eugene Victoria Spa. I think I've got that right. <laughs> So let's show you around the underground swimming pool and spa. Awesome place. This is downstairs beneath the main swimming pool. And come on in. Sorry about this being so dark, but we just had to get as much as we could on camera for you. This is a steam room with a contraption of hot coals, which heat up and then go into cold water, which makes the steam.
When we went to the port of the Dead Sea, it was incredible. It was all mood lighting and salt water and you could just float in it. It was amazing. Wayne asked permission if he could go and film the setup for the lunch time um, before everyone come in because you will see further on in the video we film the breakfast and it's very busy with people. The only difference is they haven't put the hot meals out yet um, and only the cold bits are out but you can get an idea because the food was fabulous. So this is the bit where the hot trays would go into with all the hot food. In this area they did different themed foods for different nights like Mexican, Chinese, Thai, it was really delicious. So the next day we went out for a walk and this was about 15 minutes from our hotel. We decided to look for hairdressers or barbers for Wayne to get his hair cut on holiday as we never had time to do it before we come away. <laughs> After the haircut, we headed down towards the sea as we knew we'd be finding the sand dunes down there. We have walked over these before, and be warned, they're a lot tougher to walk on than what you think, but it is worth it. They are lovely to see as well. Each night, I have indoor entertainment such as magicians and dancers and we saw capoeira and they also do quizzes and bingo. Outside at the bandstand there was always musicians with a diverse music variety which suited everybody. Let's see if we can find Adam. 
supposed to be in the gym. Jim. The next day we decided to head out for lunch. So we walked about 10 to 15 minutes towards the sea. This brought us to an area called Mas Palomas, which isn't too far, it's right next door to where we were staying. bars and restaurants and cafes and shops in this area so it's a lovely area to wander around. little restaurant to eat in and food was really good. I had a chicken and avocado wrap and Wayne had a pizza. lunch and a nice stroll and a few cocktails we decided to walk back ready for the evening. On our way back we found a lovely boutique outlet which sold Diz Eagle clothes and if anyone knows me I love Diz Eagle and you can only get them in, get it in Spain or the Spanish islands um, so I was thrilled to bits to have a look around here. today and managed to film a bit of the breakfast 
Um, it's very busy in there, as you can see. Crazy goal. Oh, crazy goal time. Looks like a three. So on our last morning we discovered a rooftop solarium area. This was an adults area with a jacuzzi spa as well. Thanks for watching Adventures with Angela and Wayne and don't forget there are a lot more adventures coming up this year.